Look at them all there trapped in the boats. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shy Lady here and welcome back to Funcraft. These are my daughters, Squirrel Girl and Raccoon Girl. And they are currently living in my house, but today I want to build them some little houses of their own. You guys suggested that I build a little village with a house for each of the animal girls, and that is what we're going to do. But first, I have to know, what happened to the cow plant? Did it grow? <gasps> what is that? What will come out if I harvest this? I'm gonna close the gate just in case. And I'm gonna click it. <gasps> what? It grew a cow. I was not ready. What do I do with this now? I don't want it to trample all of my crops. We're gonna have to go and pen it in. Well, at least now we know what it does. Let's never plant a ghast seed. Come on with me, Bertha. I call her Bertha because she was birthed from a seed. We shall grow you a lover soon, Bertha. But for now, you're all on your own. Oh my gosh, I just had a really evil idea. We should craft a creeper seed and plant it in somebody's house. And they will probably get curious and try to farm it. And a creeper will pop out and potentially cause minimal structural damage to their home. <laughs> I'm gonna do it because I am truly evil. So who should we do this to? I know, we'll do it to Joel because he built his house right next door. He's just such a convenient victim. So I think if I put it right outside his front door, he will definitely get curious. So let's pop a little worm down and plant the creeper seed. And by the time Joel logs on, it should be a fully grown creeper plant. Now let's go home because it's dark. So now that we solved the mystery of the cow seed, we just need to find a nice location for an animal people village. Ooh, maybe up there on that hill? They would be right next door to me. I think it'd be kind of cute if they lived up here. So what I'm gonna do is head back to spawn because we added a creative mode button. And this is for building things out of basic blocks. We're not supposed to use it for spawning in items or giving ourselves anything from the mods, but I am just gonna be using it to make some tiny little colorful houses. So the first one I'm gonna build is a little tree house for Squirrel Girl. A lot of you guys suggested that. So let's make a little path. And I'm also gonna put in some little fences so that we can separate the house houses and keep them all a similar size. Do you think that's big enough for a house? For somebody this size? Hmm, maybe. So let's just plant a tree in the middle here. Ah, we actually need kind of a big tree. So let's try again. Oh yes, that is perfect. It's a little big, so maybe the houses need to be a little bit bigger. Now to make this into a tree house, it needs to be a bit wider. So let's make a really thick trunk. There, that's really cute. And now we just need a door. And this is all the space that she has inside, so not a lot. Wait, we could probably extend up there. This could help. Ooh, yeah, this is cool up here. We could even get a balcony off the side here. This is actually starting to look a bit better than my house. She's even got a bed. Let's give her a basic crafting table. I'm gonna try go for quite a natural theme in here. So lots of flowers, lots of leaves. We've got some exposed wood here. <gasps> we should get some vines. This will really jazz it up. So now it's looking nice and overgrown. I think we need some more flowers and stuff down here. Ta-da! Okay, I think she'd be really happy with her little tree house. So now we just need to force her inside and lock her in. Come inside, my precious child. Okay, perfect, she is in. I'm sure she will love it. Now, we also need to build a house for this lovely lady. So it seems like a lot of you guys really wanted me to build a castle for my house. And since I didn't do that, maybe we can build one for our little raccoon girl. So not sure how we're gonna fit a castle in this tiny plot, but let's try it. Okay, this looks really bad. <laughs> it looks like Squidward's house. How did this happen? Oh, it just needs a flag and then it's done. We will use gray wool because this is an emo castle for my emo raccoon girl. There we go, flying the emo flag. Now let's just clear out the inside and I'm gonna put a ladder in so that she can get to the top and look out. This iron ladder matches perfectly. And let's put some essentials in here for her, like a bed and a crafting table and a furnace. And instead of like a flower pot with flowers, how about a white candle? Let's get emo in here. I'm gonna put some really creepy things in these item frames. So we've got some fish bones and a gummy skull. I'm gonna swap this crafting table for a gray one. That is perfect. So let's get her in here. Let's show her her new room. This is like a home makeover show. Let's go and see our new home. Okay, close your eyes because it's time for the reveal. 
I am about to show you your dream home. No, that's the wrong home. I'm trying to show you your beautiful new home that I have custom made just for you. She could not be less interested right now. I think she would honestly rather live in the wilderness, which is kind of upsetting. Oh, you look so perfect in here. The bed's all wrong. It should have been dark all along. Now it's perfect. Okay, enjoy. I'm gonna put a door on here so she'll stop looking at me. I'm gonna put an iron door and I'm just locking her in there forever. Okay, I think that is a success. We have rehomed my animal daughters. Now all we need to do is adopt all of the other animal girls so we can have a full village going on here. So I am gonna go on a quest and search for one now. There's a really cute one in the desert that I'm desperate to find. So I'm actually gonna head this way to look for a desert and hopefully we will run across the CPK head that I found last episode that had some terrifying things inside. Here it is. Oh, just as pristine as the day I found it but I don't see anything which is the scariest thing about this oh no I don't have any torches <gasps> is there any coal yes okay perfect <laughs> oh no he's giving me the darkness it's spawned how am I supposed to fight it if I can't even see it okay let's light up this place stop it from spawning hello wizard ah! oh <gasps> I'm not sure what illusioners do but they look terrifying they're not actually hurting me wait some of them aren't real. He's multiplying. He's making mirror images of himself. Which one's the real one? Well, this is very stressful. But the joke's on you because you aren't actually attacking me. So I'm just gonna take the loot. Excuse me, pig. Oh, yes. It's all mine. What a useless defense you have here. And I now have the perfect way to defeat you. Can't tell which one's which. So if I just throw this potion in there, it should damage them all. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. How many are there? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. What have I unleashed upon the world? I feel like I need to kill them, but every time I hit one, they just keep multiplying. That one's riding on his shoulders. Which one is the real one? Oh, here he is. Okay, I've had enough of these stupid wizards. I'm getting out of here. I'm off to find a desert. I want to tame another animal girl. I don't care about wizards. Oh, cute. There's another hot air balloon up there. This is one I haven't seen before. It's a cow. Ugh, I want to go up there. It would be really nice if they had some steak up there, actually, because I am running low on food supplies. Okay, let's see. What do we get? Oh, not bad. Not exactly the treasure of my dreams. What the heck is going on over here? What the heck is that? A haunted cow? Oh no! Why are they coming towards me? Are they evil? Oh my gosh, I think they are. <gasps> that just hit me so hard. What the heck? Haunted cows are hench. I think I'm gonna die. I think a haunted cow is gonna kill me. I really wanna kill one though. I wanna know when it drops. <gasps> it, it died, it died. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. <gasps> what was that? Why is it nighttime now? Oh my gosh. That is really scary. Maybe we should sleep before we go back. I do not want to meet a haunted cow in the dark. Oh my gosh, the cows are still here. No, I'm never going to get my stuff back. Uh-oh. Wait, I have a spawn egg for a cow. Quickly, give me my stuff. Ah! Oh no, not again. What? Okay, I need my stuff back quicker this time. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't try and kill it, but I really want my revenge. <gasps> I just need to, <gasps> whoa, oh my gosh. How did I not die? I'm so scared, I think I would rather be dead right now. So what did we get? Um, we got three spawn eggs, cool, that's useless. It looks like somebody has already broken in here because Joey's face is looking a little bit disfigured. Oh, polar bears, hello. Mm. Yep, somebody took all the stuff. Whoa, there's a lead in there and they didn't take it. Anyway, what I was gonna do was just get this wool and make a bed so I can sleep. Ta-da! And now we can carry on looking for a desert. Oh, another head with the harmless polar bears inside. Yoo-hoo! Oh, oh, wait, they're not so harmless! <gasps> there are skeletons on top of them. Come out here and fight me. But they don't have bows. Oh, bless him. Oh, he fell off. <gasps> oh my gosh, the polar bear hates me. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
What is wrong with that skeleton? Mm. I have seen a lot of freaky things. And that might just make it to the top of my list. Now, excuse me while I take my prize. <gasps> a name tag. We got a diamond too and the walrus hat of peace. Yes. Grab the good stuff. <gasps> a gas tier. Now the last chest. Diamonds. <gasps> and a fruit japari man. That'll be good for taming the animal girl. Mm. Now I'm gonna have to go. I somehow made it out alive with a name tag. Oh, and the walrus hat piece. I'm gonna swap it out. Oh, look at that. This walrus hat is a beacon of hope. I'm gonna find a desert. I'm gonna find the animal girl. I'm gonna bring her home. Hopefully there's a desert just on the other side of this ocean. Look at me, I look like a pirate. This is like the kawaii skull and crossbones on my cape. <gasps> what is that? Oh my goodness. What are those things? They look like little baby dragons. Okay, I gotta go inside. Evil gargoyle? Oh, that doesn't sound as friendly as I thought. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're coming towards me! Ah! 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 Oh no! Oh! That's bad. How am I meant to get my stuff back? <gasps> Wait, are they stuck in the boat? That gives me an idea. Let us commence Operation Boat. All I have to do is trap these guys in some boats. Ha! Oh! It's working! They're trapped! Get in the boat! Yes! This is working perfectly! Eh, look at them all there trapped in the boats! I know this is probably way too dangerous for me right now, but I really want to go inside there. Just look at what we did to their elite defenses. They are trapped in boats. Okay, so let's try and build a little staircase up. Wait, is that a chest? Oh, there's a chest underneath! I'm gonna get it. Oh, I can't get it. Dang it. Okay, there are still a few golems up there. But hopefully they don't spring to life. I'm just gonna enter. What is this? Ah! Oh, no, no! Really? I regret this trip. Oh no, he's guarding my stuff. Oh no, he's smart. He's too smart. I guess we'll just try and trap him in a boat as well. Come on, boy. Yes, he's stuck in the boat. You stupid man. This is how I win the game. I win Minecraft. Okay, now let's just get my stuff really quickly and try again. Whoa, hello. I know what you are. Ha. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear something. It's a gargoyle. I hear a gargoyle. Where is it? Oh. Maybe I was imagining things. Okay, I'm just gonna pop inside. I see you there. Ha. Oh, no. He's got his axe out! The axe murderer! No! Well, once again, the situation is dire. I don't even know how to get out of this one. Oh no! No! Oh my gosh. I didn't get my sword! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, now I need my sword. Finally! It's safe! There better be something good in here. What's in here? Oh my gosh, a box of eternal closure? What is that? <gasps> Bat swing? That's cool. And books. Ew. Oh, more bat swings. Oh, Sandstar research. That will be helpful. Oh, we've got loads of ancient tomes with enchantments. What is the roasting enchantment? Oh my goodness, I need to have that. That is some good stuff. Now, where's the chest that I saw from below? Oh, here it is. Okay. <gasps> An angelic feather? Wow! Maybe there's another chest on this side too. There is! And it's got all kinds of weird stuff in it. A nebulous heart. Okay, I think we did pretty well. I still have not killed a single one of those gargoyles yet. But we managed to invade this place without having to. So, let's get out of here. Okay, this is ridiculous. I could not find a desert anywhere. So instead of just wandering around aimlessly looking for a desert, I have an idea. Yami suggested that we add this mod called Nature's Compass, and it should help me find a desert. We just need logs and saplings. So let's craft a basic compass, and then let's turn it into a magic compass. Ooh, wow, okay. Now how does this work? <gasps> I want to search for a desert. Search. So now it's pointing towards a desert and it's only 4,000 blocks away. 
and it turns out it's that way. We were going that way before, in the complete opposite direction. Thank goodness we have this compass now. Oh, if we go this way, it means you get to go past Ollie's house, which is an absolute marvel to behold. Look at that. Panda Palace, I call it. Don't know what he calls it. Look how insane that looks. But let's not get distracted. This is so slow. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we try and craft a chicken pet? So let's craft this, and now we get a speed boost. Oh my goodness, this is so much faster. Holy moly, what happened here? Has there been some kind of a meteorite strike? Whoa, look at all these blocks of coal. I'm gonna be rich. This is a gift from outer space. There's so much of it. Okay, from now on, I am the paranormal investigator of this server. If anyone finds any deposits from space, let me know and I will happily investigate and remove the harmful toxins from the area, such as these blocks of coal. I'm rich. Well, now that we have loaded up on all the good stuff, let's carry on. Why are there so many mountains in the way? <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's adorable. I hope it's friendly. It's such a cute little spider. But oh my gosh, there's a shell spider right next to it. Never mind. Wow, this place is actually full of spiders. There's one right here. Hey, cutie. Oh my gosh, it's fast. It's so fast. Oh, what is this monstrosity? Hey, give me some pork. Oh my gosh, there are way too many of these things. They have been breeding here. I am so glad I have this chicken pet. I can just run past all the dangers. I wish I had some wings so I could fly over these stupid mountains. Wait, who's that? Alpaca? I didn't even know these ones existed. Oh my goodness. I kind of just want to tame one of these instead. Let's just try and give her some Japari Man and see if that will tame her. <gasps> it worked. So she's an alpaca girl. Okay, let's go. We got to go find a desert together. I'm rescuing you from the mountains. Ah! No, I need rescuing now. Whoa, a Dan TDM head. I actually haven't seen one of these yet. We have to go inside. Break in. Oh my gosh. Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh, a floating skeleton. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, she's gonna piggyback off the villager. Oh, stop. No, please, please. I have a child. Oh. This is so scary. There should be no more of these things ever again. Oh gosh, okay, it's gone. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. That is the last. Now let's get the loot. It's all safe now. Oh, this is good stuff. What's in this one? More good stuff. I'm gonna throw away the potion of harming because it will probably only harm myself. Okay, girl, let's go. Well, apparently the desert is right here over this hill. Oh, it is actually there. I was seriously starting to doubt. So somewhere around here should be a Fennec girl. That is not her. What is that? Ah! Oh my gosh, it's moving. Does it only move when I'm not looking at it? Like now? Yep, okay. So as long as I keep my eye on the statue, it won't hurt me. Oh my gosh, we have to get out of here. Who's this? There's the Fennec girl. And there's my alpaca girl. Wait there, I am just going to kill this creepy statue that is following me. <gasps> okay, maybe I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do instead is back away slowly and I'm gonna try and tame you. Thank you. No, please don't go fight it. No, she's gonna go fight the statue. You can't do that. No, don't do it, don't do it. No. <gasps> oh my gosh. What are you doing? You're gonna get us both killed. Oh, girl, freaking heck, she's done it. Okay, now all we have to do is get back alive. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but let's try. Three days later. Okay, we finally made it back home safely with the two girls. They were very slow the entire time. The next, we just need to add a house for each of them into the village, but I have no idea what to build. So if you guys could leave some suggestions in the comments below for what kind of houses to build for my Fennec Fox girl and my Alpaca girl, then next episode, we can build them each a house. But before the end of this episode, there are a few things that I want to take care of. So first of all, let's put our chicken pet on the wall next to his inventory pet brethren for now. We don't need it while I'm in my house. 
And then I want to make a little hat stand for both of my new hats. So we just craft a hat stand with sticks and a stone slab. So I'm just gonna craft as many as I can. There we go. So now we have six and I'm gonna start putting them on these shelves that I've put here. And then we can just put the hats on. Oh, isn't that adorable? So hopefully this will look really cool when we have a massive collection of hats. And finally, the last thing I wanna do is present my nature's compass up on the wall because it was an absolute lifesaver today. I would not have found the Fennec Girl without this compass. So let's display this proudly on the wall right here. So that is where I'm gonna leave it for this episode of Funcraft. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like on this video, comment your suggestions down below for the next Animal Girl houses, and I will see you next time.